Well, good afternoon and what a beautiful afternoon it is. Sun shining, it's just gone 10 past five I think in the afternoon and look at it, absolutely glorious. First can I apologise, uh, very late putting the vlog out. We have been settling into boat life, we've settling in great, we've had a few cruises and we did film one, we went out the weekend, um, had a night out on the cut and stayed down at the Shady Oak with about a dozen other boats from the marina. Had a great time. Um, if I'm honest, I did actually put a vlog together, edited it, very pleased with it, but for some reason I've got a software problem on my phone and it wouldn't let me upload it to YouTube. So I'm quickly doing this little talk, putting a little bit of video together just for you to have a look at um, so you don't forget us. <laughs> but we are going to keep regular updates coming now, now the better weather's coming. Um, we've had quite a bit of wind, so unfortunately we couldn't cruise very much, but uh, have a look, see what you think. Yes, well we got up on the Saturday morning. It was a glorious morning, really nice and warm. So just topping the water up, Hello. making sure we've got enough supplies for our night out on the cut. And obviously Chip and Dale were supervising. Chip. Glorious day and unknown to us, we weren't the only boats that were planning a cruise down to the Shady Oak that morning. So after fueling the boat up, we were out on our way to the Shropshire Union Canal just under the bridge there leaving the marina. Have to give a toot on the horn just to warn other boaters that may be on the Shroppy. But we were soon out on the canal and enjoying our little cruise and Chip and Dale were enjoying the scenery as well. We weren't expecting any traffic actually on the Shroppy this morning because where we're heading, a little pub called the Shady Oak, it's a popular boaters pub, but the lock just past there, Wharton Lock, is actually closed till the 8th of March. Uh, but there's a winding hole, a turning point, just before the lock. So we weren't expecting many boats to be coming the other way, but we did actually have a, a gentleman in a very small canoe and uh, two other narrowboats coming up uh, the other way, which was quite a surprise. Sandy now doing some filming for me at the bow of the boat, and it was about this point that the, uh, the canoe had just passed us. Um, bit of a shock for me as Sandy had the walkie-talkie, but unfortunately forgot to press the button to warn me that the boat was coming. So uh, yes, but all sorted and all ended good. Just amazing how quiet it is when you're sitting on the bow. You can't hear the engine hardly at all. Very, very peaceful, and indeed, if I wasn't always on the tiller, that would be my favourite spot. As we cruise, we do remember um, the chaps that actually dug this canal out back in the 1700s, 1800s, all by hand, uh, with horses obviously carrying the clay away. Must have been tremendously hard work, but what an achievement and we don't forget them as we're cruising. Lots of places to moor up along this stretch as well. We have some nice armco barriers uh, for a lot of it, so you do have good mooring points. Although the Shropshire Union is quite famous for being quite shallow as you get to the edges, so sometimes you do have to use quite large fenders um, as you, you could ground. Also many old bridges and the brickwork on it is lovely to have a look at. The stories that old bridge could tell.
Yes, it was a very peaceful cruise that morning, but it was broken by the noise of these geese and lots of them. And yes, of course, the worst ones too. Now Chippendale are sitting nice and quiet throughout the cruise until they spot a dog. All this peace. <coughs> Just on the top of that hill to the right, you can see Beeston Castle, which sits 350 foot above the Cheshire Plains. Now here we are at the Winding Hole. It's called a Winding Hole because back in the old days with the old working boats they used to use the wind to help them turn the vessel around. Obviously nowadays we've got uh, nice engines and bow and stern thrusters. Now I've got bow thrusters but unfortunately I was pressing the wrong one so I couldn't understand why the bow was going round to the right. But the penny dropped and I soon turned the boat around and we were heading back in the opposite direction. A bit embarrassing, but I am learning and I can handle the boat quite nicely, but uh, for the life of me I couldn't work out what on earth was going on. I think Chip and Dale were wondering as well. Well, we were soon heading back towards Chester, heading west on the Shroppy and to our mooring yep. point. We actually cruised past several boats, past the pub, under the bridge and then found this lovely spot to call home for our first night out on the cut. Now Sandy and I were unaware that so many people were going to be joining us so we were enjoying a nice glass of Merlot on the stern of Chuggabug and then several boats were turning up. In fact a lot more than several boats actually turned up that, uh, that afternoon. Yeah. In fact there were so many boats that they were running out of mooring spots so they were double mooring out on the cut. But fantastic people made lovely friends and as uh, most of them were off our jetty as well at Tatton Hall so we're going to be seeing them quite a bit in the future I would imagine. All right. Yes well that night several drinks were consumed by everybody to be honest ended up being a quite a bit of a party night out on the cut but the next morning I was up at about 7.30 and it was breathtaking. A lovely misty morning out on the Shroppy. Very much like a postcard. So surreal. It was like looking at a painting. And there's Chuggabug in the middle. So yes, as you can see, we had a great weekend, possibly one of the best weekends I've ever had. Uh, that was last Saturday uh, we went out, Saturday the 23rd, I think it would have been. And then we had some friends join us uh, for the cruise back. And I got one of our friends uh, to take some pictures of us on Chuggabug as well as we cruise back. So we got some lovely pictures, some lovely keepsakes there. Um, we may have some news in the next vlog. Uh, for you some exciting news for Sandy and I anyway um, Hopefully 
our little plans coming to kind of come together um, and I can let you know in the very near future but once again very sorry for not keeping the updates coming we have been settling in um, but we will try and keep them regular now but all's good on board Chuggabug and we'll catch you very very soon take care everyone